Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Gina Teresa. We are here at The Gathering 2017 and we had some requests on our YouTube page to get some kind of OG people from The Gathering. We wanted to get in contact with some demoers, some people who've been here pretty much since the beginning and I'm pretty sure we found that in these three gentlemen. So if you guys uh, at home, round of applause from here. Uh, we have, and I'm going to try this again, and I've practiced, they can tell you. I've practiced a lot. <clears throat> Oh my god, I'm going to screw it up so bad. Okay, so we have U Uver, one out of three. Uh, oh my god, Tron, Tr Trond, Trond, and, and Vagar. And Vagar, yay! Now, they have been here since when? Uh, what was your first year? 92, first year. Since it started. Since it started in 92, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, three people from 1992. What was the demo scene like then? Because it's really changed. Um, we only have two people in the demo competition right now. And that's, yeah, that's that face. That's what the face of YouTube is right now. Back then, uh, uh, everything was smaller. Now we're like five, 7,000 here. How three. many people were there at the beginning? Uh, 1,100. 1,100. Uh, we rigged the tables for uh, like five, 600, 600 maybe. <laughs> and then 1100 came. So we went out uh, trying to get more tables. Wow. The participants very often uh, were also the, the crew from other parties. So very few just came uh, and, um, and uh, didn't, they didn't work as crew somewhere in some party. The thing is that we, we also had uh, a different sort of uh, uh, reach and the community was much smaller, of course, but very much more tight-knit. Uh, we also didn't have the internet, but we have the BBSs, which were very popular, and the Eurochart, which were able to communicate, which were had like 50,000 people watching it every uh, other month or so. Oh, wow. So we were able to get the information out there in a very direct reach. We had like 100% reach within our community. And the Eurochart, I mean, <clears throat> at the time that was distributed by diskettes, and people mail them to each other, and, and that's... Snail mail. Yeah, snail mail. So no downloading for the most part. And uh, so yeah, it took probably a week before most of uh, the people had had that, um, that month's edition, and it was very popular. Why do you think the demo scene declined? Um, and do you think that do you think that there's room for it to come back or do you think that it's just it hasn't declined that it's just moved and kind of gone somewhere else hidden because the demo scene was it was kind of an underground thing it was a, it was a subculture that not a lot of people knew about i didn't even know about it until they offered me the job of the gathering and i had to wikipedia what is the gathering and then i had to spend like four hours deep dive wikipediaing and youtubing what demos were so where do you think it's gone at this point what do you want to be when you grow up you know i want to s grab people's minds uh, today, I'm sorry to say, everybody wants to be on YouTube. They want to be known for being on YouTube with their face. Uh, back then, you wanted to be known for what you did, like the show of your lead skills, all of that stuff. Nöd lærer naken kvinne å spinne. Og penger gjør at en god koder blir bra. Ikke sant, Ove? People be, will always be creative in different venues, but try to maybe be famous for what you do, not for yeah. what your face looks like. Yeah. Creativity comes often from uh, constraints, and when you constrain yourself to old uh, uh, game sounds to make music, of course you have to be creative. Uh, I, I guess that will flourish. Yeah. Obviously, there's still room for improvement because you know there come new people. They will look at things in a different way. Yeah. They'll pick up an old instrument, the eight-bit sounds, and do it in a different way, and they'll find a new one. What happens when I just tweak this? Yeah. So that uh, will always be awesome to have new people coming in looking things without, call it uh, heritage or just the crowd doing the same thing. I also think that um, uh, the computer scene itself is so much bigger today than it was uh, 25 years ago. So uh, the demo scene kind of looks smaller than it really is because it's now a smaller part of the total scene. Uh, because back in the 80s and 90s, you didn't even have a computer if you weren't part of, partly nerdy. And, and, and now everybody has it, so uh, you could say that back then you, you would have a very large part of people having computers that actually did any coding or graphics or took part in the demo scene in, in a way. Uh, and now everybody has a computer. My last question for you is since you've been at the gathering since the beginning, 
what would you like to, or how do you think we can attract the demo scene to come back? Um, and not just the demo scene, but like we are starting to get a little bit from what I have seen from our numbers last year and this year, we're getting a little bit more people with game development and game creation and that kind of thing. Uh, how do you think that the, that the gathering can pull more people in the creative aspect instead of it being like 90% gamers and then 10% creative? I've been thinking about uh, an emerging um, part of computing, which is uh, robotics. Uh, I would love a robotics competition at the gathering. That, that would really be something I would uh, either uh, watch or participate in. Heck yeah. Yeah, uh, but again, uh, we need um, maybe some re restraints, like uh, we uh, publish a design for a robot and uh, software designers can use that one. And we have a different competition for um, those who want to build the actual uh, robots. Uh, so offer something both for hardware and software people. Um, that's that's been on my mind. Cool. <laughs> well, guys, I want to thank you so much for taking the time, and it was. I'm so glad that I just happened to come and high five everybody. Uh, that was very fortuitous. Um, and you're only here for another couple hours, right? Yeah. So I'm glad that I found you when I did. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview for our YouTube channel. Uh, I guess um, we're done. We're all out. Say thank you to everybody. Thank Amigo. you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>